Hey guys, it's Chris with MODIS again, and in this video, I want to go through the steps of conducting the bore site calibration in LIGEO reference. Now, before I get started, I do want to say this is just going to be a quick walkthrough on how to do it, and if you want a little bit more of an explanation about the settings you can change while doing this, uh, I'll have a link down underneath the video to a knowledge base article that we have called Conducting the Bore Site Calibration and LIGEO Reference that will go into a little bit more detail. All right, so first things first. To do the bore site calibration, the button for it is up here at the top, right in the middle of LIGEO Reference. Uh, this is on the Geo Reference tab again, so we'll click that. And I'll just briefly go through this real, real quick. Here at the top, we can see all of the different parts of the point cloud that uh, we want to apply the bore site calibration to. You can select the, or unselect the, them. Uh, if you don't want to apply it to a certain one, you can just choose not to. Next, go down here. These are now the settings, or excuse me, the factors that we can tell LIGEO uh, to take into account to do that bore site calibration. Uh, again, Please see our article for a little bit more of a dive into it. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave everything here as the default settings. And um, I will say that running with these default settings has actually turned out pretty well. Down here, we have the matching. Uh, you have two different options here that you can choose. Again, I'm just going to stick with the default settings here. Uh, an explanation of the difference between the two is in that article. So, what we're going to do is we're going to first just come over here and hit calculate since we're going to keep all these settings as is. And down here at the bottom, you can see that LIGEO reference went ahead and uh, spit this out. And what we see here are the errors both before and after the calibration. The most important part uh, to look at really is this root mean square error after. And as you can see in this case, before is at 0.13 meters, and now it's at 0.9. So we did shave off one centimeter of accuracy, or yeah, one centimeter of error from our data set. Uh, next thing we're going to do or look at is you can see over here under the board site correction, the correction values have automatically populated over here for the factors that we told it uh, to correct. And to see how this changes things, we'll go ahead and use the profile tool here. Draw a quick little cross section. Zoom in here. And there's a button here called Preview. So before we apply anything, we can actually see the changes that the calibration will make to the point cloud. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, everything does shift. This right now is before, and this is after. Uh, it shifted its location. Again, got rid of uh, one centimeter of air there. Also ended up tightening everything up here a little bit. So. If we're happy with that, next thing we can do is go ahead and hit the Apply button. And this window pops up to have you confirm that you want to save these changes to your point cloud. So we're going to hit Yes. And now you can see here at the bottom, uh, LIGEO Reference is going and applying those changes to our point cloud. Uh, we'll come back here in a second as soon as it's done. All right. LIGEO has finished uh, uh, saving the bore site calibration changes to our point cloud now. And so we can go over and click on this report button and it will generate a report for us. In this report, obviously we have, uh, you know, when it was generated, uh, we can see all the different parts of the point cloud that the bore site calibration was applied to. We can see the values, the correction values that were applied to the point cloud. We can also see the before and after when it comes to the error. Again, paying attention really to this uh, root mean square 
root mean square error over here. We saved ourselves uh, about a centimeter worth of error. And the last thing it produces are these histograms of the residuals. And as you can see, everything got a lot tighter afterwards. So I hope this video was helpful, you guys. Again, it was just a quick run through on how to do the bore site calibration. If you would like some more information on uh, these factors and settings over here for the bore site calibration, please go to our knowledge base article. Uh, again, the link it will be underneath this video. Um, until then, though, if you have any other questions about this or would like me to make a different video about Ligeo, please reach out to me at support at modus-ai.com, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until then, guys, have a nice day.